the hell is happening to the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi? Why is he so silent now? What's going on? Is he becoming LK Adwani part 2? Mon Modi 3.0? Is it not Modi or NDA 3.0 anymore? He, he has taken Mon breath. He doesn't speak for anything. It, it seems he is hardly running the country. So these are questions, comments and messages which I have received. And many of you have requested me to make a video on Narendra Modi's future for the next two, three years at least. So here it is. Narendra Modi's future up till September 2027. So three years from now, how his life will be. Now, before I get into this, I would request you, please keep your comments respectful. And if anybody spreads hate in the comments, you will not be tolerated and you will be blocked at once. All right. So this is a disclaimer I'm giving. Don't force me to do things I don't like. All right. Now, I already made a video three, four weeks back where I said that the period from 11th of August till 17th of September this year is a very difficult period for him. And we already saw what happened with this unfortunate incident in Kolkata and, you know, this violence in many parts of the country, you know, attacks uh, from the border and difficulty in the Bangladesh border also along with uh, so many other things which are going on, right? So, therefore, we are currently in that period. So, there, so please exercise caution. Uh, I have given three scenarios. Scenario one has already played out. Scenario two is somewhat playing out, somewhat not playing out. And I also gave the best and the worst days in that video. So please watch that video. You will find it. It's titled as India's Dire Period. All right. So I won't discuss about that now. Uh, but let's discuss what can happen after 17th of September this year. So 11th August to 17th September this year, a difficult period. Most of the things are already happening. But after 17th, I see things will improve for Modiji. And you will see that he will be a bit more active and, you know, he can take, you know, major decisions. And we also saw that uh, he went back on many decisions that he made. Of course, there was Mercury retrograde also till 28. And the period was also very bad. So there are many things which uh, he kind of, you know, said, no, we'll not do this. Uh, kind of going back like U-turn and people are saying, you know, up kibar U-turn, Sarkar. <laughs> uh, but... It will not be like this. Uh, he will be uh, making strong, bold decisions. He will be taking bold decisions, uh, making strong moves after 17 September. You can see that. You will be able to see that. All right. So the period from 17 September this year to 12th April next year. Should I repeat 17 September this year to 12th of April next year is... A significantly good period for him okay so now of course good does not mean you know nothing bad happens you know i mean some 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 problems might be there it would be an intense period but in general this is like a continuous period for many months you know you could say uh, october november december january february march april so the next seven months from his birthday look to be very good so no, uh, he will make. Uh, he will become more famous. Name, fame, power, position, authority. All this will increase, and also uh, his stature at an international level that will also increase. All right. Now, uh, then from thirteenth of April next year to twenty fourth of June twenty twenty five. This is a very difficult period for him. This period is uh, similar to the current period that is running. You no, know? so. Uh, these these days for next year will be difficult because uh, there could be again violence you know internally in the country uh, or there could be attacks in the border or there could be you know, some sanctions on India or there could be cracks within the NDA uh, government right so therefore uh, this is a period uh, he should be very careful with otherwise things can get out of control although i don't see uh, things escalating to a very 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 bad level but yeah this will be a very significantly difficult period for him okay so he should take care now then uh, if i see next year i see then uh, from his birthday of next year okay so uh, september uh, 17 september 2025 to 17 september 2026 
Now, I won't get into the details, but this one year, so his birthday of next year to September 2026, this is another phenomenal year for him where he might be uh, doing something very big at an international level. So this is similar to something which he did uh, with the G20 summit in India, like, you know, he kind of, you could say, converted it to G21 and included the African Union. So something very big he could do at a massive, uh, you know, massive scale, you know, at a global stage, which could elevate his stature to a very, very, very senior leader. Okay. Now, in this, what could happen? It's very difficult to uh, predict for me as an astrologer, right? What exactly will happen? So, now, if I try to think what could happen. So, last time some something similar happened with G20, it became G21. He was the one, uh, along with the Council of Ministers of India, you know, they included the African Union. There was a massive diplomatic victory. So, it could be that, you know, India gets... Uh, in India starts moving ahead towards, you know, getting a permanent seat in the UN Security Council, or uh, maybe there could be some action in the POK, you know, Pakistan occupied Kashmir. Now, I'm not saying that India will certainly get a seat, uh, the permanent seat in the UNSC. I'm not saying that could happen, who knows, but there could be some developments on that side, or some action in the POK, or could be both, or it could also happen that uh, he's, you know, like making a new United Nations, you know, like new, new G20 or something new, you know, or maybe BRICS currency or something, whatever, you know, some, something, something which will, uh, which will increase his stature massively at a global scale. Okay, so this, this is a phenomenal year for him. And then 17 September 2026 to uh, 16 September 2027. So again, the next year, for him, I see this is also another phenomenal year for him. So he will make many prominent decisions during this time. Uh, there could be decisions on real estate or property which could come during this time. So there could be a situation where he passes some law where uh, the government brings like a property Aadhaar card, you know, which is like you, every Indian has to link all their properties with their Aadhaar card and uh, that could be a situation or there could be some um, uh, action in the POK. Some property might come from there. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> or, you know, he may gain something. So now, again, as I said, it's very difficult for me to predict what it will be, but it it can be something, uh, something like, you know, he's getting something, you know, some more control is there. Okay, so it could be good victory in some election or it, it could be anything, honestly, but he's gaining, all right? Now, many of you have also asked me about 2029 elections. Uh, well, in my video of 2024 elections, I already predicted that if things go normally as they are now, which means, you know, uh, Modi is still living in this world. And if there is no, you know, major like, you know, disaster like nuclear war or some major pandemic or something like that, then most likely he is going to win 2029 also. But... In the last months, what I've seen is many people have started saying there could be you know, re-elections in 2027 or 2028 because of delimitation and all this. Okay, So, of course, uh, it does not mean that elections can only happen in 2029. All right. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, when the election dates are announced uh, about the next election, then I will make the video specifically. All right. And what happens after September 2027, uh, that also I will make. Uh, but let us see how uh, how the analysis turns out uh, till uh, 17 September 2027, all right? I'm enthusiastic and ecstatic to see if whatever I've said will be true. <laughs> and please let me know down in the comments, what do you think, which of the things that I've said here will be true and which of them will be false or what do you want him to do in the upcoming three years, all right? And last but not the least, the next three years, his focus will be primarily on finances. So to take India to a, uh, that, you know, five trillion or whatever, $10 trillion economy and the third largest economy of the world. So that will be his primary focus and to bring wealth to India. That will be his focus for the next three years, at least. After that, we will see how things turn out. But for the short time, uh, till 17 September 2027, this will be his primary focus, all right? 
Thank you so much. Please uh, put your ideas down in the comments and please remember to be respectful and don't spread hate. All right. Otherwise, I will have to do things which I don't like. All right. Please take care. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. And for personalized horoscope consultations, you can always visit my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Jai Siaram.